because the South African company has joined the fray in the fight against the COVID-19 global pandemic by producing isolation pools as treatment for the virus. The initial lockdown has lowered number of infections, but health authorities are still worried with the situation as the number of local transmission is increasing. Management of the ports producing companies say the materials are cost-effective and it can help in the efforts to contain the coronavirus deadly disease. Let's have more details of that in this report. South Africa has slowed the COVID-19 infection rate, partly thanks to a lockdown the government imposed early on. But authorities fear the worst is to come as some restrictions are eased and local transmissions increase. Warren Bosman's company, Oracle 3D, was already producing smoking and baby pods before the outbreak. So about a year and a half ago, my daughter was born premature and contracted RSV. And uh, we spent about three months uh, in an isolation ward. And uh, before this coronavirus came along, we were already practicing all the sanitizing methods and masks. And then obviously doing all the pods and that, it was kind of like a, a simple um, you know, adjustment of just putting the two together and coming up with a solution that can contain the virus effectively. Confirmed COVID-19 cases are rising daily and the demand for hospital beds is growing. Specialized negative pressure rooms are needed to treat acute cases. And these pods come at a negative pressure. So I'll just show you a little test. So if you, if you pull the door open, you can actually see that it sucks closed. When you walk inside, the airflow in these units is very critical. So what you find is the air, the air sucks from the front of the pod through to the back past the patient. And that is very critical so that doctors and nurses don't get affected or infected by the COVID-19 virus. The self-isolation pods could potentially be a game changer when treating COVID-19 patients in South Africa, and they are in line with the World Health Organization specifications. We had to value engineer the design to come up with a solution that can be made very cost effectively, that can flat pack and takes less than 45 minutes to assemble on site. There's a multitude of facilities that these can be fitted to. Um, any kind of expo center, um, even a marquee that's set up on a field, um, for example, for rural areas. And you can fit easily 50 or 60 of these units inside with uh, nurse stations, with a welcome um, counter, with the testing pods so that uh, patients can be tested. The company has been given the go ahead to produce the first 300 pods. It's had interest from the United States, United Kingdom, and Saudi Arabia, and may soon start exporting its latest product.